The University Honors Program at UC Davis. The experience of a small college. The opportunities of a world-class research university. The best of both worlds. UHP students are inspired to take intellectual risks, become campus, community, and global leaders, initiate positive social change, and build inclusive excellence by engaging critical thinking, effective learning, and interpersonal expression. While this is a prestigious program, it's not meant to limit any student's experience, but rather enhance it. Being in UHP means being a part of a supportive and motivating community, taking control of my academic trajectory, embracing the opportunities to make a difference. We are proud to represent students from diverse backgrounds with bright futures in the things that matter most to them. When students are a part of UHP, they are honors, but also so much more. Hello, my name is Mariah Segura, and I am UHP and a Mexican woman in STEM. I am UHP and una mujer mexicana en la ciencia. I am currently a second year studying human development, and I'm very appreciative and grateful to be part of a community that really values growth, connection, and diversity among the peers and staff. Um, being a Mexican student here at the University of Davis, I definitely felt the culture shock, but I think coming into the university's honors program, I was able to see how diverse and inclusive they are and really build friendships upon my peers. Um, a little fun thing about me is that I do enjoy dancing, and so this quarter I am taking a salsa and bachata class, and so really being part of UHP my first year, I was very shy and um, I really wanted to grow out of my shell and I was able to do that with UHP and with that I was able to incorporate my identity within salsa and taking Spanish classes and so really going into UHP it's really gotten me out of my shell and really closer to my identity and Mexican heritage. My name is Sarah. I'm a fourth year art history and design double major. Uh, I am UHP and I'm the president of the art history club. I was a biomedical engineer for like my first quarter and a half of freshman year and so my first quarter I was initially going to take a UHP class on prosthetics because that's what I was hoping to do with my engineering degree and I ended up taking an art history class because uh, it was a UHP class that quarter and I loved it so much like so much more than all of my engineering classes like okay I'm just gonna completely switch my major and this is what I'm gonna do now and so you know the only reason I even am an art history major and a design major is because of UHP. I have friends in the STEM field and so they feel a lot like, oh, I'm the only woman in this entire class. But being able to go to my UHP classes and have like more of a community with people who were more similar to me, I think that was really nice. We're, we're a very woman-dominated major, I'd say, and so again, like, you know, almost being like the flip side of the STEM thing, where like I'm trying to welcome like more men, like please come to our history club meetings, you know? Like just trying to make sure that I help curate a space that's inclusive to everyone, you know? And that like, I want everyone to feel welcome. And that's basically directly led to my signature work, which is, again, going back to the idea of trying to build the same kind of inclusive spaces I've been able to experience in UHP. Uh, my thesis paper is on how art museums can be redesigned to be more engaging and welcoming to families and children. Hi, I'm Faith Makati. I'm in my third year here at UC Davis. I am a psychology and anthropology double major with a minor in public health. And I am UHP, and I'm also an international student. I am from the Congo. I was born in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and uh, I grew up in Canada, and now I'm here at Davis. So I think being like picked up and moved around a lot as a kid has kind of helped me become like flexible and adaptable to like all types of like circumstances and people and it really has helped me like be able to always include anyone in any situation. I grew up in like a predominantly white area in Montreal and so kind of like being the only like black kid in the school with my siblings um, it's kind of like really enforced in me that like everyone should be included no matter like where they come from and everyone's opinion should be heard no matter where they come from because like it just it brings more open like thought and more open like experiences and I think that the UHP program is really good at understanding that like 
not everyone comes from the same place and not everyone has the same privileges and advantages as like other people so they've been really good at like accommodating and making sure that like students at least in my personal experience making sure that like despite things that have happened to me like I am still included in the honors program as international students like there's not really many people who are there to like defend you and like make sure that like the school is working for you and I've experienced that with the USG program like they're really good at making sure that like I feel like I'm taken care of and they're very considerate to like the, the life experiences that I am bringing as a UHP student. Uh, my name is Damien Murillo. I'm a current fourth year biochemistry molecular bio student. Um, I was admitted as a transfer student and I am UHP and I am also a first generation student. I think very early on I recognized that, you know, my family struggled a lot with, uh, not my immediate family, um, but my more extended family. Um, struggled a lot with substance abuse, struggled a lot with homelessness, um, mental health issues, and that was something that was never hidden from me, um, and not, not in a malicious way. Uh, my parents were very much just, you know, this is our family, this is, you know, you can either go this route or you can choose a different route for yourself. For yourself. Um, and I think that's something I internalized very early on, and I recognized that that wasn't something that I wanted. Um, all that to say is that's kind of what drove me to do very well in uh, you know, middle school, high school, um, and kind of what drove me to go to college. So, you know, going to community college during the pandemic was definitely something that was difficult, especially as a first generation student, because you don't have a whole lot of support. Not because they didn't want to support me, but because they didn't know how to. So I kind of had to figure it all out myself. I, I definitely think the support from UHP has been something that's been integral for me as both a student and also as a budding scientist um, because, you know, it's very easy to get lost at times and be like, okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. And the support that, you know, reaching out to other people, um, other people in UHP, other people in some transfer programs that I'm part of, um, and being able to say, hey, I'm struggling a lot, how are you dealing with this? And being able to be that support for someone else where they're struggling and I'm able to say, okay, here's what I did, here's what I suggest you do. Um, there's definitely something that I've greatly appreciated that, you know, because with transfer students especially, we kind of try and take a cohort approach, so putting all the transfer students together and kind of saying, you know, y'all are in the same boat, figure this out together, um, I think has been something that's been wonderful. Um, hello, my name is Yvette Esteban. I am a fourth year animal science major with a Chinese and Spanish minor. I was a UHP on-campus admit and I am a UHP student and I am a mixed student. My mom is from Guatemala and my dad is from Myanmar. So I'm a little bit more of a unique mix. I am the current president of the Mixed Student Union. I became the president uh, last year. I've been involved in the club with for all my four years here. And it is a very special space. Um, I'm determined to keep it preserved for the students because we're the only mixed space here on the campus. I did not grow up speaking either of my languages, so coming into college, I knew that with an animal science degree, I wanted to at least get a Chinese minor because I was very passionate about furthering my education in Chinese. My thesis is in my minor, and it's in the Chinese department. We're studying um, Chinese characters and the curriculum in Chinese foreign language learning. Um, because currently in the United States, or even just general abroad Chinese learning, there is about 50% of allocated time specific to Chinese character writing. To be an effective language learner, you don't need to be an effective writer. Um, because language starts um, with communication. So we're looking into how much time the students are spending in um, character writing, how comfortable they are in it, how does that correlate to other areas of language learning, and their allocated time, and their confidence in those sections. And basically seeing if there needs to be a change of curriculum in focus. Hi, my name is Rena Cohen, and I'm a second year political science student here on campus at UC Davis. I am UHP and the chapter chair of CalPERG students. I have been um, really interested in the environment and various social justice issues for pretty much as long as I can remember. When I was in kindergarten, I wanted to be the president, um, and I've pretty much run with that vision ever since. And CalPERG, our slogan is Action for a Change. 
And so I really like, really enjoyed getting involved with Calberg, and I was really drawn to this organization because I could see that there was boots on the ground change being done every single day. Um, joining UHP also helped improve my leadership skills and um, had like gave me more of a community um, to be able to rely on and I really love the UHP community because I'm a part of a group of really motivated, driven, passionate individuals who care about the UC Davis campus and you know care about the world and you know want to make a difference in whatever way that that might be um, and I think that being with a community of really passionate people um, through UHP, um, I really appreciate like the connection that I have with all of my CalPERT team because we're also really passionate individuals that care deeply about the environment and social justice issues. Um, and I really love being surrounded by people who really care and who are motivated and driven people that you know really want to do something. And that's what I feel like I'm all about. That's what I feel like CalPERT is all about. And I feel like UHP um, is able to bring students like that together and really motivate them, empower them to be able to go out in the world and make change and give them the resources that they need in order to be able to engage in you know all deep different varieties of things that we're involved in at, on campus at UC Davis. Our students grow beyond UHP to embrace the unlimited opportunities to be a part of something more. UHP is community, support, transformational agency. UHP is UC Davis.